give us a twirl? Mm. They can't. What day is it today? Christmas jumper day. Christmas jumper day. Have you got your money, Pop Pop? Good. And what's in the menu? I've just dropped off a very excited Delilah at school. I'm so excited for her, especially because of the year that we've had. It's so nice that she's been able to do a couple usual Christmas things like having Christmas lunch with her friends and Christmas jump day. Looking very likely that we're going to still be able to see Father Christmas at the weekend. We've got a food shop due any minute now. Saying that, I think they might be outside. Hiya. Hiya. I seem to always be forgetting my coffees at the moment. This is past reheating, so I'm just gonna make another one. I've unpacked most of the shopping, just got a few covered bits to do. And then I thought I would get on with some more wrapping because Delilah breaks up for the holidays tomorrow. So then after that, I'm not really gonna have any time to myself when she's not in the house for me to, um, for me to wrap her presents that isn't in the evening. Definitely trying to carry too many things at once. Ah. Turn off Mr. Tumble. Bye bye Mr. Tumble. If I put you there, am I going to be really badly backlit? Mm. Thank you there for now. I thought I'd catch up on some vlogmases whilst I wrapped presents. Also, it's quite nice doing it on the table. Saying that, Doug got a new, um, he got a new Chromecast yesterday. So we changed it round yesterday and I've not been able to link up to the Chromecast. Shall I show you the other prezzies that I bought for other people? If you haven't watched my last vlogmas and you want to see what we bought Delilah, that's all in that video. I haven't got a huge amount of presents for other people. Like the last was it last year we started it or was it the year before? Myself and Doug's family decided to do Secret Santa. We all send off our wish list and it means that everyone isn't having to buy lots of presents. You can maybe spend a little bit more money on the individual person and everyone gets something that they like. This year I got Doug's dad. One of the things he asked for was a zip up jumper from Crew Clothing. They did a really nice dark green but that was out of stock in his size. So I went for very easy to wear navy blue that's what doug's dad has and on the subject of clothes i've ended up getting doug clothes this year doug is the hardest person to buy for because he never has he never has a list what did he say on the family whatsapp group as paolo says as long as i've got a license for my telly and food in my belly i'm happy so i bought him a couple of things from all saints in the sale i'm really not sure about the sizing though he's usually a medium but i think all saints clothing comes up quite oversized. Worst comes to the worst, he can take it back. We've got an All Saints in our town and he can exchange it. It's got a waffle texture to it, it's quite thick. He doesn't have many long sleeve t-shirts, so I thought he'd appreciate this. He had a lovely grey jumper from Arquette. Camera just stopped recording. I washed it how it should have been washed, but for some reason it, um, it went a bit felty and shrunk. Not too much, but enough for him not to want to wear it because it didn't feel comfortable. It says it's an oversized fit. I'm wondering whether he needs a small. Last year my mum asked for a gift certificate for the Royal Opera House because she goes to see a lot of performances, a lot of ballets. She's asked for the same this year so that's um, on its way in the post. The only other person to buy for is my grandma and she has asked for her usual perfume. I think I bought her this last year she said it's just run out. This brings back so many memories of being at my grandma's house and I always remember seeing this on her dresser table in her bedroom and the smell just it just smells like my grandma so she asked for this and then she asked for a couple of photos to be printed off because she hasn't got any up-to-date photos she's asked for delilah's school photo and she asked for the photo of doug and i sat on the canal boat actually i need to get them but i found this double frame which is perfect because i can put both of the photos in here so i'm oliver bonus i can link it i'll go and get the photos and i can pop those in there. My favourite place to print photos off seems to be Snapfish. I don't know if any of you find that helpful. She wants this photo of Doug and I. She specifically asked for that. I would never print off a photo of myself and be like, Merry Christmas. And then one of Delilah's school photos. Bless her, I knew she wouldn't smile. She gets really uncomfortable when um, people she doesn't know 
want to take photos of her so that's it so i'm going to wrap these presents and i've also got all the doll's house stuff down here that i need to wrap for delilah i'm gonna try and get this chromecast to work i've barely had any time to watch youtube and i've now got a moment to catch up and i really want to catch up on grackle is my favorite at the moment i love i love grace's um vlogs uh megan grubb and Helen and Jenim. Yes, yeah, so I've got a lot. I've got a lot of vlogmases to catch up on. So let's. Um, I'm going to see if I can get this TV to work. I've fixed the Chromecast. All I had to do was turn it off and on again, and <laughs> it's working. There we go. I really like these frames. Actually, I don't know why I don't buy some fast. Um, actually, I think I might have one of these. Uh, I might have a single one of these, but I really like these double ones. I'm going to pop it back in the box, wrap it in this tissue again, and then it'll be easier, easier to wrap and keep it a bit protected. The halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la, la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la, la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel, fa la 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 la. Told the ancient you tie carol, fa la 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 la. taking a break from wrapping and I'm um, making myself some lunch. Having a very common lunch for me, pesto pasta and salad. Although today I'm trying this truffle and artichoke pesto. I think this must have been recommended to me because of our obsession with truffle crisps. Anacardo is like, would you like to try truffle pesto, truffle olive oil, truffle this, truffle that. Update on the pesto, underwhelming very bland. I'll stick to my usual sakla green pesto. A few of the Christmas decorations I ordered in the sale. I don't know if Anthropology is still doing it but they've got a lot of stuff on sale and then they're doing an extra 20 or 30 percent on top of the sale stuff. The first decoration. Oh it's so cute. It's this glass sausage dog with a red nose and antlers on. These are huge. Ordered these um beaded mushrooms i want to see if i can get these to work on our tree because i think they're really unique this is my favorite oh i love him my order's been sent out in two or three separate parcels i don't know when they come there's huge delays with um royal mail at the moment i've actually got some green some thick green moss ribbon that i ordered on etsy a week and a half ago and it's still not here but i'm hoping it turns up soon because i really want to use it for doug's present but yeah there's big delays so i don't know when the other ornaments are going to turn up but i'll of course show you them when they come as always i'll try and link these if they're still available i'm gonna go put this little guy on the tree now i have been watching megan grubbs vlogmas all morning i should be caught up soon i can see a branch on top of the tree that i think would be perfect i'm thinking he should go up here i've swapped these baubles around and he seems to fit tucked this one down here. And then I've put another one round the back. I do really love them and it fills in the tree. I'm gonna stick these presents under the tree. This one is Dog's Dad. I've gone for this paper and then this white twine the with gold thread through it. And then of course I couldn't go a year without using dried oranges. I've got this lovely green paper. I thought she'd appreciate that because green is one of her favourite colours. And then I've just done brown parcel paper for the perfume, wrapped around um, some more of this white gold twine. I have no idea 
where I bought this. I've had it for years. And then I've popped on these two trees again. I've had these, I think I bought them on Amazon about three years ago. On to all of Delilah's bits for her mouse house. this year's Christmas wrapping, apart from when my mum's voucher gets here and when the ribbon comes for dogs which you are currently balancing on so you <laughs> might be a bit wobbly. One of you asked me how I store scrap pieces of wrapping paper. Oh no, the camera's running out of battery. Let's get a new one. There we go, all sorted. With pieces like this, I tend to very gently fold them and I have a, the word has escaped my brain. Box, box box the tin box that i have lots of ribbons and things in it came as a set of two i have a bigger one and i use that for scrap pieces of paper and tissue these are still worth keeping because these will definitely be able to wrap some smaller presents and then any pieces that are worth rolling i'll roll them up and put some twine or thread or ribbon or whatever what whatever i have spare and i'll wrap it around it and um put it in the pot where I have lots of wrapping paper standing up in my office in the cupboard. A lot of paper that I wrap our presents in, that's for um, any of us. I tend to keep the paper that I used for Delilah's stocking is um, all scrap pieces of paper that um, I either had in my scrap paper box or is paper that I've um, used for past present. And if it's not all ripped and it's still usable, I'll um, take the tape off flatten it out. I don't go as far as ironing it. I know some people iron wrapping paper. I'll just pop it upstairs and use it again. Like a lot of this, like for example, these bows, I won't throw away. I'll reuse them. All the mouse stuff is wrapped. I really love how random it all is, but it kind of goes at the same time. So this is the last bit of the star velvet ribbon. But again, I'll just pop that back in my, um, in my present wrapping box once she's um, opened that. Got a little gingham one, harlequin one party dog and then this one I've um attached a couple of pom-poms on top because I had them lying around and I thought Delilah would appreciate the pom-poms and again I can just um reuse those another year. My original idea was to put all of the mouse house accessories around the Christmas tree in the house but I have I these aren't all going to fit. I'm going to pop them under the tree and I think they'll just stay under the tree. Can you believe I've not used a single bit of foliage on my presents this year. I usually cover my presents in bits of tree and <laughs> eucalyptus and berries, but um, I guess I haven't done that this year. Look what's just arrived as I was about to uh, get ready to head out. These will be the other Christmas decorations I was talking about. I still don't think they're all in this one. I think there's one more to come. I ordered another one of these candles as it was in the sale because I love the smell of this so much and I knew I'd want one for next year. It's a pumpkin, it's called pumpkin clove. And I'm guessing in here is a decoration. I ordered another one of these stars. I'll pop that on the tree in a second. I think I was pushing the boat out a bit with this one. If it was smaller, I might like it, but, um, it's a donut. I just think that's too big for our tree and I think also that just won't fit in at all. I'm gonna take this one back, as cool as it is. Let's find a place for this one on the tree. So if I've got, if I've got that one there, where shall I put this one? I'm gonna put this one here. 
Doug's going to be home soon, which means he can get the shelf that we have for the bathroom up. I've been eager to get that up. And also the rest of the, I don't know if you can see them there, but the rest of the boxes for storage under the bed have arrived. So I'll be able to fully organise and get everything put in their place, which they've not been since we got everything out of the bedroom about a month ago. So that would be nice because I've still got loads of stuff in my office. It feels like it's the last day of term and I keep, remind, I keep having to remind myself that tomorrow is the last day of term. I love your crown. I think it's from La E La. That's not a hat. Here it is. It's just the way she writes. You got another card to go with all your millions of cards. <laughs> wow. Why well, don't you look all festive in here with your crown and your mini mince pie? Not looking. Doug's just come home. He said, "Cover your eyes." I'm guessing it's one of my presents. I have a love-hate relationship with wrapping presents. I love having them under the tree, but then I feel really sad on Christmas Day when they all get unwrapped and then there's no more presents under the tree and it always seems so bare. Not excited, excited on Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day so exciting, you just get to open all your presents. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the shelf I bought for the bathroom. It means we'll have a bit of storage which um, as you know there is nowhere for cabinets or drawers or cupboards anywhere in our bathroom that's perfect go us the other anthropology parcel with uh, the tree decorations has turned up although i'm looking at these and i'm thinking maybe they're a no-go for the tree as well they look huge whoa they are huge no i'm gonna have to take those back but uh, i got these ones We've all got, where are you, where are you, where are you? <laughs> an initial for our name. So that's a, what? What I yeah. Yeah. and a for, <coughs> well, daddy or Douglas. Daddy, look, oh. it's one for Delilah, one for you. Oh. Daddy. Hey, ones are going back because they're ginormous. They all sorted a donut and they're ginormous. Oh, very nice. Okay, Mummy needs to find a place for hers. Daddy putting his up there. <laughs> Delilah and I have been playing doctors and babies and uh, now she's downstairs having dinner. Doug had a few problems getting the shelf up, but it's up. You may be able to see that there are a few holes here that have had to be filled in and another one here. I'll then once that's dry i'll then have to paint over it when he first started drilling into the wall he hit metal no pipes or anything just um probably supports in the wall he had to drill a few more um to see where he could get in and he managed to um he managed to find a spot in the wall that didn't have metal at first i did think oh no we're not going to be able to get it up and i haven't even kept the box so i couldn't return it i can now finally put these bits that have been hung here in this bag for about a month up on this shelf we've also replaced the light pulley it's from the same place we have our light switches from um i just need to adjust the length i'm going to put it to about there so it's not in the way of the towel rail i did think oh i'll have somewhere to put you when i vlog now but um obviously you're too high <laughs> please excuse the black pants these um these pj shorts are quite see-through i can put these in the bedroom actually under the bed got lots of foot masks this one's great. I've tried a few foot peel masks and they never work on me, but this one, this works. Pretty sure you can get it on ASOS. I can link it in the description. And then I've never tried these ones before. I'm gonna pop those up there. Um, oh, got another one here. All oh, beauty blenders. I took advantage of the sales in Black Friday and a discount on, <laughs> on ASOS, so I stocked up. More Bioderma, I can definitely put that on the shelf. There's not too much to put on there. I underestimated how much you can fit on this shelf. We've got plenty of room for um, things. I see things I don't actually own that many sort of skincare, beauty, makeup items. In here, I think these were containers from Muji. In here, we have 
spare toothbrush heads. In that one, we've got spare razor heads. I can clear out this a bit more now, get rid of this mask and toner. Very happy with that. It adds a bit of um, decoration, it adds something a little more to the bathroom. There's not much we can do in here. And I'm also very happy with our new light pulley. I did coat the shelves with a couple of layers of varnish because otherwise I don't know whether the steam and damp in the bathroom is going to um, ruin them but whenever I've seen that shelf there's a couple of people I follow on Instagram that have that shelf or similar they have it in their bathroom either way I gave it a couple of coats of varnish just to be on the safe side I'm going to put this on the shelf as there's lots of room I'll probably end up putting this back down here but um earlier on I put these trees up here on the shelf I just thought they looked sweet and festive so I put those there Put him here for now. Oh, mm. on, t up, top. It. Cat. It is. Oh, mm. on, yeah. T, yeah. yeah, good job, Baba. I'm so proud of Delilah's reading. We just did a bit before she went to bed. I can't believe how far she's come since the start of September. She's only been at school for a term and she can spell her name, her writings, coming on leaps and bounds, she reading, <laughs> just but yeah, very proud of her. It's dinner time for us, we are having, we're having another quick and easy one. We're having this cauliflower tikka masala. To be fair, I did make an all plants order at the end of November knowing that I wouldn't want to cook as much as I usually do during this month. We're gonna have dinner, we're gonna watch, what's it, we started watching something called, I think it's Dash and Lily on Netflix, something and Lily, I think it's Dash and Lily. A couple of episodes in and um, I, I really like it, I didn't, I wasn't expecting much from it but it's good. I saw these chocolate orange mini magnums never heard of these before. Anything remotely festive, <laughs> I'll have. You're probably gonna have one of those after dinner. Got a few more vlogmases to go. The next one will be vlogmas 10. So I will, um, I'll see you then. Bye. Goodbye.